fresh off the back of a lorry from a lay-by on the A1 just outside Doncaster is the latest Webley Nemesis Combo Package. <laughs> and welcome to AAR on it and no this is a brand new fully guaranteed and supplied from Webley UK supplier and not from any alternative source and for those of you who are wondering just what on earth I'm talking about the initial supply of these that came into the country last year were stolen from the back of the lorry on the way to the wholesaler and then found themselves being sold by some unscrupulous individuals to some unsuspecting customers. I say unsuspecting, but if you're buying a brand new gun on the cheap from a non-registered or unlicensed individual out the back of a car in the pub car park, then I suppose you deserve the confiscation of the gun and potential possession of stolen goods charge that will go with it. Surprisingly enough, some people have actually returned the odd one of these to the local gunsmith for add-ons or alterations or guarantee work, believe it or not. Needless to say, they left the shops with less than they walked in with and a visit from the old Bill a little later that day. And yes, I do believe most of them ended up around the South Yorkshire area, but I've but they have probably moved around a little further afield since then. You know, if you were to write this into a soap script, no one would believe you. But it's all true, including the fact that the next lot planned to come into the country then got stuck in the Suez Canal incident later that same year. How much bad luck can one company have? So... Has it been worth the wait for us law-abiding citizens? Well, I did get the chance to test the base version of this last year, and I loved it. It was low-cost, accurate, lightweight, and simplistically reliable. So, naturally, I've got high expectations of this combo kit, or pack, as they prefer to call it. So what comes with this over and above the standard version? Let's take a look, shall we? Dimensions first. This has an overall length of 96.5 centimetres or around 38 inches. And it tips the scales at 2.5 kilograms or 5.5 pounds with a full 88 gram CO2 on board and all the extras. The combo pack comes with the main unit, which resembles the Nemesis pistol with an elongated barrel stuck out the front. It is then powered by that 88 gram CO2 cartridge or it can use the Webley hard air adapter which takes two 12 gram CO2s which makes it cheaper to use in the long run and saves losing air from a bigger, more expensive 88 grams if you're leaving it unloved and unused for any length of time. But more about that later. There is a QGS for moderator supplied to keep the bark down and help keep the neighbours happy. There is also a Webley 3 to 9 by 40 scope and mounts included but it is only just attached and by no means fully secure or set ready and zeroed in. I just know someone is going to complain that it's not zeroed. Sadly, no case, but the box it comes in is actually pretty good and has a nice spongy, forgiving interior to help protect it. Quick walk around then, shall we? From the front, there is the tiny but surprisingly functional QGS4 moderator, which is half inch UNF, so it can easily be swapped over for another silencer or moderator if you prefer. Behind this is the 50 centimeter long steel rifle barrel 
which disappears into the military style forestock with rails top and bottom longer than most teenagers attention span in a pure maths class. Actually, that's probably a little unfair on the Webley. <laughs> but the rails do seem to go on and on, both on the bottom and the top, and really does represent a fantastic use of space and thought on Webley's part. Then you come onto the part that simply resembles the Nemesis pistol chassis. And at this point, it does make you feel they've used this and bolted all the other goodies onto this chassis, which will help keep production and manufacturing costs low. Which I think I've said before is no bad thing to my mind, especially when the cost savings are passed on to the customer at the end of the day. This is pretty much all polymer based to keep the cost down and the weight. The grip is a pistol type grip and has a removable base which holds the double sided magazine nice and safely tucked and hidden away inside. I'm just going to interrupt this program because I'm not sure whether it's actually picking it up over the microphones, but we're now on our third high wind hurricane, whatever it is, Fred Frieda, uh, it's belting around outside, and I'm in the middle of a tree-filled paddock in a log cabin. Mmm. You might see some uh, footage that you didn't expect, probably shortly. Anyway, back on with the review. Those magazines. They hold two lots of six rounds in 22 caliber or two lots of seven rounds in 177. That grip is really quite comfortable from palm to trigger distance, certainly for me. The trigger is a two stage item and is really very nice to use with a pull weight of only one and a half pounds. The safety is a push-through item just above the trigger and it pushes through, through from right to left for fire and left to right for safe. The red or white indicators are easily visible from above. This is a bolt action and has quite a short pull and can be changed from right to left to make this truly ambidextrous. So, no complaints accepted from the lefties on this one. Not only does it come with that fancy dual-sided magazine, but it comes pre-fitted with a single shot tray, which can simply be removed by lifting it out and allowing the magazine to be slotted in instead. Again, Nice of Webley to think this one through and give you both options. Above this is that rail and pre-placed on the top, note I said pre-placed and not pre-fitted, which then lets you choose the ideal position for you to get the best eye relief. This being a Picatinny rail allows you to move it easily forwards or backwards without the need to remove the scope from the mount. How easy do you want them to make it for you? The scope that comes with it is a simple 3 to 9 by 40 budget scope with a fixed focus and a simple crosshair reticle, but it works. And if you're going simply going to use this as a backyard plinker or for occasional pest control, then this scope is going to be more than adequate and up for the job. Behind all this is that removable rear stock that slides over the 88 gram CO2, hiding it nicely and giving this around 200 plus shots from a single 88 gram. Alternatively, as I've said earlier, buy the hard air adapter and then simply slot in two CO2s, 12 gram versions, back to back, and then screw this into the back of the Nemesis and it will give you more flexibility on the amount of CO2 you're using and better storage options. But it can be removed without losing air 
part way through where the ATM 88 gram CO2 cartridges can't. They will just simply empty. But don't worry, when you do actually unscrew this to remove it, you will hear some loss of air. But it's only a small amount that is just left in the chamber. The rest of it is still in your CO2s. Good idea. Of course, it also means without any air in the back, you can take the stock off, take it down sniper style, which gives it easier transportation as well. I thought lots of things through, really. Let's have a quick look at loading those magazines, shall we? Well, it's pretty simple, really. Drop your pellet in head first, then rotate anti clockwise to drop in your next pellet and it will actually hold in place. Continue on until all available slots have been filled. Doesn't take you too long, because they're not big magazines. Once you've done one side, flip it over, and do the same again until both are full. Then, when it's all loaded up, drop into the gun from the left-hand side, pull back on the bolt, slot in, bolt forward and you're ready to go. So, no risk of firing pellets backwards down your barrel, assuming you've loaded the pellets into the magazine correctly, of course. Power levels then. Well, on the box the claim is up to 550 feet per second in 2.2 and up to 750 feet per second in 177. Time to put this over the chronograph then. Time to put this over the chronograph then. I thought I'd try the new QYS air gun pellets on this occasion. I will be doing a full review of these new pellets that seem to be taking the air gun world by storm later on. But for now, I used the 8.48 grain and it saw 640 feet per second, which is 7.71 foot pounds or 10.46 joules which on a cold February day is pretty respectable. And as always, on a warmer day is likely to get that little bit better. I did try this with the hard air adapter and a full 88 gram CO2 just to find out. And the answer is there is absolutely no difference in power. Good news. Furthermore, there is absolutely no difference in power using one new CO2 12 gram in the hard air and an empty one still had no difference in power. Good news. Time then to get this out on the range and see just what it's capable of. Now the last time I used the standard version I was very impressed. So I've got high hopes for this one. Hmm, here goes. No, you can't make me come out. It's blowing a gale out there. Come on, this is just not fit weather for testing guns. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. Show must go on and all that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Hello. Right, let's get some testing done. Oh, oh. the wind's blowing like I don't know. I've got a dead cat on the microphone, so you probably can't hear it. But in the wind tops, it is really going for it. So... We're going to try and do some target work with the Nemesis X Nemesis and see what we can do. I mean, I know this is a good gun. I've shot it before, but in these conditions, what we've done, we've set it out at about 25 meters just to give it a fighting chance. Come on. And then we'll see just how we fare. Let's have a go, shall we? I am going to shoot this on single shot with a single shot tray and I am trying to use these new QYS pellets which to be honest people are saying good things about so I thought I'd give them a try. Here we go. Pheasant seem not happy about it. Let's have a look. It's a basic scope. I've semi-zeroed the scope in, but it's the grouping that we're interested in. That wind ever stops. It's 
blowing me more than the target. Whoa. I do like a 177 for target work, but it is fiddly, especially with cold hands. Yeah, that was me, slightly off. There's a pheasant just walked across. Just wandering around nonchalant. I'm impressed. I am impressed. In these conditions, I'm impressed. Yeah, I'm not stretching it out to 40 or 50 metres, but it's only seven, eight foot pound gun. Come on. I'm quite impressed with that. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, this really is blowing, it really is blowing. And to be honest, this little thing, Nemesis X combo pack, they prefer to, to be called, little tiny silencer, three to nine by 40 scope. It's nothing to write home about, but it is perfect if all you want to do is a bit of plinking, a bit of target work, I mean, it's just done that really well, or a spot of pest control. I saw I was just looking to see if he was still around. No, I wouldn't shoot him. And nice gun, nice package, like it. Really impressive. Not only the Webley, but these QIS pellets were as accurate as I've been told they were. Well, they did like the Webley barrel at any rate. I will be trying them in other guns over the coming weeks. I suppose it's conclusion time then. Well, let's recap on the costs of these Webley Nemesis. -s. Mm. The combo package will come in at around £225 UK, with the basic package coming out a little less. Which should you have? Well, if you're just looking for something for a bit of backyard target or plinking with the occasional spot of pest control, then the combo will be the one to go for. But if you want to take it to a little more serious level, then I would get the basic package and drop a decent scope on it that you may have lying around, spare Virox answer or whatever else you have lying around that you're not using, then you will have a really nice, accurate and super quiet, lightweight, compact, carry all day rifle. Neither option is going to break the bank and if you're looking at accuracy per pound, then they represent outstanding value. And they say, I don't do budget gun reviews. <laughs> I really do love these Nemesis X guns and thoroughly enjoyed my time with them. And I was really keen to get my hands on this combo pack, even if it was just another excuse to shoot a Nemesis X. Hopefully you've enjoyed this review. If you have, please give us the old thumbs up, subscribe, share, hit the alarm bell and join in on these platforms. Visit the AAR website and of course thank you to Vector Air for getting hold of this one and I suppose to Webley for constantly keep trying to get them into the country against all odds. Finally, of course, a thank you to you guys for watching. Stay safe and shoot safe, and hopefully, I'll see you next week. Bye for now.